today with me on screen is a critical reasoning question. It'll be great if you can pause the video, solve the question, take your time, and then you can, can join again to hear the solution for the same. So let's begin. So what you can see that on screen, I have a question which says that the conclusion above is based on which of the following assumptions. So this is what my question requirement is. The question statement gives me a clue that there is a conclusion in the para. So now my next step is to read the para carefully. So let's read it. It says that traditionally decision making by managers that is reasoned step by step has been considered preferable to intuitive decision making. So the first sentence shows me a comparison. What word gives me a clue? The word preferable to gives me a clue that there is a comparison between step-by-step -step decision making. So I'll call it SDM. And there is something called as intuitive decision making. I will call this idea. However, now my author introduces a contrast word, however, which implies that there might be a shift in perspective and thought. A recent study found that Top managers used intuition significantly more than did middle or lower level managers. So here again, this more than introduces a comparison. And what I know is there is a comparison between top managers versus the middle and lower managers. And I notice that these top managers are using intuition more often. Now, Based on this recent study, my writer says, this confirms the alternative view. Okay, what can be the alternative view? Alternate to what? Alternate to the traditional view. That intuition is actually more effective than careful methodical reasoning. So moment I read this line, I realize that this is the conclusion of the author. This is what my author wants to conclude, right? Now, based on, now from where is this conclusion come? The conclusion very clearly is from the recent study. So once I have finished reading this little paragraph, in my mind, I should have a simplified version of the argument or a kind of a little representation. So let us see how would it look. So technically, I have a term called as major premise. What is a major premise? A major premise is the information that the author is using or the reason that the author is using to arrive at his or her conclusion. So this information or rational is taking top managers into consideration and what they are using, intuition is more often used. Then what happens is my author based on this is automatically concluding that intuition, intuitive DM is more effective, right? The effectiveness is being considered here than SDM. So is effective than SDM? Why? So moment I read this in my mind, there will be a question. Why is this a scenario? Now to answer this why, it is very important that the author must have had a pre-thinking in his brain. There must have been a thought in his brain before he must have arrived at this conclusion. This pre-thinking or the gap between the major premise and the conclusion is typically called as my assumption. So what would be, you think, the answer components in an assumption? By logic, the answer components has to be so they definitely have to be within the scope of the scope of the given observation and my conclusion. That's a must. It has to be within the scope of this because with the help of this assumption, I am arriving at the conclusion. And this assumption is nothing but the author's thinking regarding the major given premise. So typically speaking, what I realize is I have two unlinked terms. Which are my two unlinked terms? One is suddenly the word effectiveness is coming in my conclusion. 
but I'm not including top managers in the effectiveness and top managers is in my given premise. So ideally speaking, there has to be some relationship between the top managers and the effectiveness as a component. So can I say that TMs are more effective than my middle and lower level managers? If I say that, will this help confirm the conclusion? So typically, what I need to keep in mind is the correct answer must confirm the conclusion. That's my first criteria. So it should explain why or how intuitive decision making is more effective than SDM. So to prove that, definitely I should involve the unlinked terms, which is TM and effective. So this is something which is typically in my mind like a shadow answer. Right? Now let me move ahead. So let's go and see how to analyze options. So let's first the analyze my given options. And as I'm analyzing, let me cancel them out and let me keep on hold the ones that can validate my conclusion. This says the first option A, methodical step-by-step -step reasoning is inappropriate. Great. So I'm giving a negative about methodical step-by-step -step reasoning for making many real-life management decisions. Wonderful. But does that tell me something? Why IDM is more effective? Does that talk about IDM? Is there anything about IDM in this particular option? No, right? Also, it does not take into account my unlinked terms, top managers and effectiveness. I really don't know how IDM is more effective. That has to be the major pitch. So I can safely remove option A because this is my aim. Option B, top managers have the ability to use either intuitive reasoning, great, or methodical step-by-step -step SDM. So this is just telling me that top. So this option is attractive. It's introducing top managers. But my question is that if top managers have the ability to use X or Y, does that still validate why IDM is more effective? What is missing here? The unlinked term effectiveness is missing. I really don't know what the relationship between top managers and effectiveness is. I can safely remove option B. The decisions made by middle and lower level managers, okay, the MLMs can be made as easily by using methodical as by using intuitive. So this is just telling me that SDM plus intuitive reasoning can be used to make decisions of middle and lower level. But my question is, what is the basis of mine, the main premise? Is the focus on middle and lower level managers? Or is it on top managers? It is on top managers, right? So the argument of the para is trying to prove that intuitive is more effective. Now, if middle or lower level is using intuition as well as methodical, that does not fall under the purview why IDM will be more effective than SDM. That comparison is not seen as well as my unlinked terms, top managers and effectiveness is not being highlighted. Option D. Top managers use intuitive in making majority of the decisions. Very attractive option. Talking of top managers and they are using intuitive. But what is missing? What is missing? Which is necessary to prove why IDM is more effective. That is very important. My word effective is missing. That is not there. Because it is not there, the relationship between TM. So even if they are using intuitive reasoning to make majority of the decisions what is so special about intuitive that intuitive has become more effective that this option d is not highlighting i can cancel option d i'm left with e top managers are more effective wonderful so this is telling me that top managers are more effective at what decision making than middle or lower level managers so this option beautifully brings a comparison between top managers and middle or lower level managers and says that these managers are themselves very effective at DM, right? They are effective at DM. So the tool that they are using, which is intuitive decision making by default should necessarily become effective. 
because if they are effective at making decisions when compared to MLMs, the tool that top managers are using often will definitely add more credence and will be more effective when compared to SDM. If this option is true, this option explains why or how my conclusion is valid. Hence, for me, option E becomes the correct answer. Thank you for watching.